एटीन हंड्रेड आवर्स पाकिस्तान स्टैंडर्ड टाइम असलकुम दिस इज रेडियो पाकिस्तान द न्यूज रेड बाय सुमेरा कमल हेडलाइंस फर्स्ट Federal cabinet which met in Islamabad today with Prime Minister in the chair urged the international community to take notice of Indian involvement in Afghanistan's internal affairs aimed at creating chaos. Foreign minister has reaffirmed Pakistan's support for an inclusive and comprehensive political settlement in Afghanistan. Pakistan's ambassador in Kabul to say to Kabul says Islamabad is ready to work with the new government in Afghanistan for uninterrupted trade between the two countries. President has urged the universities to increase quantum of online education and focus on research and innovation to promote quality education. Pakistan today conducted a successful test flight of indigenously developed Fata-1 guided multi-launch rocket system capable of delivering conventional warhead. In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir Indian troops in their fresh act of state terrorism martyred three more Kashmiri youth in Sopur today. And now the news in detail. The federal cabinet has stressed that India should not interfere in internal affairs of Afghanistan to sabotage regional peace. Briefing media about the decisions taken by the federal cabinet which met with Prime Minister Imran Khan in the chair in Islamabad today the information minister Chaudhry Fawad Hussain said the cabinet also urged the international community to take notice as Indian involvement in Afghanistan's internal affairs is aimed at creating chaos that cannot be justified in any way He said Pakistan is playing a responsible role for an inclusive setup in Kabul and is pursuing consultations with China, Turkey and regional countries. He said so far over 3400 people have been evacuated through air routes while 90000 people were received on borders. He said adviser for parliamentary affairs Baba Rewan briefed the cabinet about legislation on electoral reforms and electronic voter machines. The minister said it was noted that opposition is making efforts to deprive 900,000 overseas Pakistanis of their basic right to vote. He said a high-level committee is being formed comprising ulama, the intellectuals and members of civil society to make recommendations for legislation to protect women and get rid of such incidents similar to Minare Pakistan incident on 14th August. Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi has urged the world community to take effective steps for the reconstruction of Afghan Afghanistan and economic revival of its people. In a telephonic conversation with his Australian counterpart Maurice Pine, he reaffirmed Pakistan's support for an inclusive and comprehensive political settlement in Afghanistan. Both the foreign ministers emphasized on the promotion of high-level contacts in order to further strengthen bilateral relations. Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi embarks on a 3-day visit to Uz Tajikistan, Uzbekistan, Turkmenistan and Iran from today. According to Foreign Office, Foreign Minister will discuss the evolving situation in Afghanistan and ways to enhance bilateral relations in his interactions during the visit. The Foreign Office spokesperson said Pakistan believes in the neighboring countries have they should have a vital stake in the peace, security and stability in Afghanistan and the region. Pakistan's high commissioners designate to Australia and Canada separately called on Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi in Islamabad today. Talking to High Commissioner designate to Australia Zahid Hafeez Chaudhry, the Foreign Minister said there are ample opportunities of mutual cooperation including enhancing bilateral trade between Pakistan and Australia. In another meeting with High Commissioner designate to Canada Amir Khurram Rathore he said welfare of overseas Pakistanis and resolving their problems are amongst the top priorities of the PTI government Pakistan ambassador designate to Switzerland Amir Shokat also called on the foreign minister and exchanged views on challenges being confronted by Pakistan on fo on foreign front Pakistan's ambassador to Afghanistan Mansoor Ahmed Khan has assured Pakistan's full support to the Afghan traders in increasing the volume of bilateral trade between the two countries. Talking to a delegation of Pak Afghan Joint Chambers of Commerce and Industries in Kabul today, he said the bottlenecks in bilateral trade, Pak Afghan transit trade, banking and customs sectors will be removed. The ambassadors said that Pakistan is ready to work with the upcoming new government in Afghanistan and private sector for uninterrupted trade between the two countries. 
Internal Monetary Fund has appreciated Pakistan's assistance in the safe and swift evacuation of its personnel and their families from Afghanistan. In a letter addressed to Prime Minister Imran Khan, Managing Director IMF Christiana Georgieva especially appreciated the instrumental role played by Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi, Defence Minister Parvez Khatak, Finance Minister Shokat Tareen and Governor State Bank of Pakistan Raza Bakir. This is Radio Pakistan. President Dr. Arif Alvi has urged the universities to increase the quantum of online education and focus on research and innovation to promote quality education in the country. Speaking at a briefing on National University of Modern Languages Islamabad today, he said the universities lead, they need to shape their vision in a way to prepare students to cope with the challenges of the fast-changing world. Appreciating the role of universities in educational development of the country, the president emphasized that higher education institutions required to produce intellectually supreme graduates to meet the challenges of the 21st century. Minister for Information and Broadcasting Chaudhary Fawad Hussain has said that no compromise will be made on the clauses of Media Development Authority Bill regarding fake news and the rights of journalists. Talking to the office bearers of various journalists' bodies, including Fourth Pillar International, Pakistan Federal Union of Journalists, Professional and Young Journalist Association in Islamabad today, he, however, said the government will welcome suggestions on the remaining clauses of the proposed bill. National Command and Operations Center at its meeting today decided to open anti-COVID vaccination for the youth aging 17 to 18 from the 1st September. Minister for Planning and Development Asad Umar and Special Assistant on National Health Services Dr. Faisal Sultan shared the decisions of the NCOC at a meeting at a media briefing in Islamabad today. Pakistan today conducted a successful test flight of indigenously developed Fata 1 guided multinational launch rocket system capable of delivering a conventional warhead. The weapon system will give Pakistan Army capability of precision target engagement deep in enemy territory. Pakistan has received $2.75 billion from the International Monetary Fund as part of special drawing rights allocation. The State Bank of Pakistan confirmed this in a tweet today. The international money lender has released a total of $650 billion for various countries. The amount aims to boost global liquidity amid the coronavirus pandemic. In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, Indian troops in their fresh act of state terrorism martyred the three more Kashmiri youth raising toll to five during the past 24 hours. Three youth were martyred by the troops during a cordon and search operation in Sopur town today. Two other youth were martyred by the troops in Sirinagar last night. Senior Indian police officer in Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, Vijay Kumar, has admitted that more than 100 Kashmiri youth have been killed this year alone. The All-Party Suryat Conference spokesperson in a statement in Srinagar said the fresh spree of brutalities unleashed by India has brazenly exposed its claim of normalcy in the territory. On the fifth and last day of second cricket test against Pakistan at Kingston, West Indies chasing a victory target of 329 will resume this second innings at overnight score of 49 for one today. Earlier, Pakistan declared this second innings at 176 for six. The play will resume at 8 p.m. Pakistan Standard Time. And finally, the weather. Mainly hot and humid weather is expected in most plain areas of the country during the next 12 hours. However, rain, wind, thunder shower is expected at isolated places in Upper Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, Gilgit Baltistan, Kashmir, and at its joining areas. To end the news, here are the headlines once again. Federal Cabinet, which met in Islamabad today with Prime Minister in the chair, urged the international community to take notice of Indian involvement in Afghanistan's internal affairs aimed at creating chaos. Foreign Minister has reaffirmed Pakistan's support for an inclusive and comprehensive political settlement in Afghanistan. Pakistan's ambassador to Kabul says Islamabad is ready to work with the new government in Afghanistan for uninterrupted trade between the two countries. In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, Indian troops in their fresh act of state terrorism martyred three more Kashmiri youth in Sopur today. 
and that is the end of the news for more news and analyses log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com/radio pakistan news of